Austin Cook, and we're going to ask him a few questions about his car in this new segment we call the Build Breakdown. So let's get started. So Austin, what's the year, make, model, and engine of this car? It's the 1990 Mazda Miata with the 1.6. Alrighty. I don't know why I thought that question was going to last a little bit longer. Oh. Alright, so as you can tell, it's boosted. What kind of turbo are you running under there, and how much boost? It's just a cheap little eBay turbo. Uh, it's running 10 PSI. Alright. The build was kind of kind of based off of Greg Peters and All right. his uh, budget, budget boosted Miata. It works. So shout out to Papa Peters. <laughs> Alright, when do you normally hit boost? This isn't on there, this is just a question that kind of goes with it. Um, so I've got an exhaust manifold leak, so I'm building boost probably four to 4,500. All right, all right, all right. And I know you haven't gotten her dynoed, but guesstimation, how much is she making power-wise? Uh, using my highly calibrated butt dyno, I'd, I'd probably say <laughs> 150, 160. All right. That's, what was she running before the turbo? Like 90. All right, dude, that's that's an improvement <laughs> for an eBay turbo. All right, what's your uh, what's your next plan for the Miata? Uh, probably buy an ECU Mega Squirt. All right, all right. How much of that booster up to power wise? Butt Dino. Uh, butt Dino, <laughs> I'd I'd probably give her right around 200. Okay. All right. How much do you want? How much uh, is one of those gonna run? Uh, about 800 bucks. And that's not including the supporting mods like the the RX8 injectors and better yeah. spark plugs and wires. All right, all right. What's your dream motor swap? Uh, probably the 13B rotary. Okay. Out of an RX7. All right, all right. No rev limiter, so you know. Nice, nice. All righty. So we can tell that you're sponsored. Who are you sponsored by, and how did you acquire that sponsor? So uh, there was a vape shop in town locally small like mom and pop vape shop uh, it's called lifestyle vape crew and they're actually getting ready to change the name so my stickers will probably change yeah but uh i've been going in there for my vape since i got back to oregon two years ago all right all right and what's your favorite thing about the car and your least favorite thing about the car uh, favorite thing would probably be the looks that I get, the smiles that people give me when they see her. Yeah. My least mean, favorite thing is I'm six foot three. <laughs> it's a car built for a five five soccer mom. Yeah, or yeah. a small Japanese man. Yeah, there you go. Alrighty. So there's a lot of uh, stigma about the Miata that uh, people who drive them aren't the most uh, masculine of people. Have you ever gotten those compliments? Um, or I wouldn't say compliments, but have you ever gotten those, uh, that input on the car? I've been hit on by, uh, many a men. Yeah? And, uh, I've been laughed at by many a women. Okay. Alright, and then you smoke them, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Especially those Mustangs. Ooh. Oof. Gotta roast them. Oh, yeah. You just gotta watch out, they might hit you. Alright. Uh, what made you want to get a Miata? the closest thing to an rx7 i've been able to find that's all right that's pretty true and then and I, maybe a ford I, after i i fell in or after i started driving her yeah i just i fell in love with her oh. i drove her so i bought her while i was living in montana yeah i came all the way to oregon to pick her up yep drove her all the way to montana and then i made that trip three or four times in the miata just okay. me and i just I can't see myself owning anything else. Yeah. All right. All right. And if somebody came up to you and while you were driving it and they're like, hey, I'm looking to get a Miata, can you tell me a little bit about them? What makes you love them? What, what would you tell somebody who's looking to get a Miata? Be prepared for expensive parts. Yeah. <laughs> Everything in there is expensive. Uh, just the tombstone, the cheapest I've been able to find is about a hundred bucks and it's just a piece of plastic. Yeah. I mean, we went to the junkyard once, and we spent a good amount of money just on interior parts. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's from a junkyard. That's supposed to be cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Is there anything else you'd like to say about the Miata? Anything you want to say about yourself? Throw out here. She's spray painted. <laughs> Don't hate. She's going to be wrapped soon. Full wrap by the sponsor. Right on. 
uh, if you're looking to get the Miata, it's a fun, fun car. It's a perfect car to learn in. Great car to learn manual. Everything, all the shifting stuff is, it's perfect. Nice and crisp. Uh, clutches in these things last forever. As long as you, you take care of the car, it'll last you a long time. I bought this thing with, uh, what was it, like a hundred and... 130,000 miles on her, and then boosted her at 200,000, and now I'm at 214,000 with no issues. So you take care of them, they'll last you a long time. Right on. It's good to hear. It's good to hear. I've had, we've had a lot of fun in this car, honestly. I'm happy to see uh, where she goes from here. Well, she's nowhere near done yet. Still got a lot of, a lot of plans for her. The problem's money. Yeah, I feel that. Feel that. <laughs> All right. We go for a ride. Let's go for a ride.